YouTube, welcome to another video, another series, highly demand, highly requested, I'm tired. Struggling is not fun. See, shout out to all my supporters, shout out to everybody, see, but you know, you go through in life, man, you go through these ups and downs. A lot of them be downs, let's just be honest. There are people always talking about some ups and downs. You go have yeah, ups and downs. No, a lot of them be going down. That roller coaster continue going down, like, yeah, just keep going down. You be like, dang, when, when I'm going to go up? When am I going to go up? Like, with life, man... You just got to take what you take what you dealing with and try to make happiness out of it, you know, because, you know, everybody going through things, everybody like going through crisis in life. But when you ain't got no money, I, I'm telling you, when you ain't got no money, man, it's like you can't breathe. It's like air costs, everything costs. When you ain't got no money, man, it's like... It's like all your intelligence, all your dreams, everything just go, just disappear, just pop, 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 pop. They gone, like, they gone. Man, I remember when I was like, you know, I was, uh, I think I was like 17. And yeah, I think I was 17. No, I was 19. No, I was 18, and I knew that I had a baby on the way and stuff. I was trying to find a job. I couldn't find no job. I was like, yeah, I just need a job, man. I just, I just, I, re I really need a job. I really, I, I really need a job. Like, I was like, man, I work anywhere, man. I was just driving, driving, riding with my mom, just riding past. Seeing people doing construction work, God, can I can I get that job? Can, can I get that job? Ryan Pass, Wendy, I I take that job right there. I I take I, I work at Wendy's. I I I work at Wendy's. Like just now, I work anywhere, you know. But like I, I knew my daughter was coming, was finna be born and stuff. I was finna turn nineteen, and I was like, man, like. It's about to get real. It's about to get real. I said, I'm like, man, it's about to get real. Now I'm like, dang, I'm finna be a father. I'm finna be him. I'm, that, that, goo goo, that, that, daddy, that. I'm finna be hearing all that. I ain't got nothing to my name. All I got is pocket change, like a little twenty dollars. I don't, man, I don't know how to be no father. I don't like. I'm like, man, I'm. Sh then all my friends, they was going to jail, getting locked up. I had just got out of jail the year prior. And so happy to God, I beat my case. And then I had a baby on the way. <laughs> had a baby on the way. So, matter of fact, I'm going to give y'all some story time with this. I'm tired. Okay. i trying to see which way should I go with this. You know, it's, you know, my friend got locked up. I'm like, man, man, everybody getting locked up. And I'm like, I think this is before he got, yeah, this is before he had got locked up and everything. No, he he was locked up. You know, and I'm like, you know, like, dang, I'm out here by myself. But I was kind of happy, like, because I was like, dang, I'm finally finna get my license. I ain't got to keep driving. With a permit, looking over my shoulder, like, dang, dang, I wonder, is this gonna be the day I'm gonna hear whoop whoop? Is this gonna be the day I'm gonna hear whoop whoop? You know, the, you know, when the cops get behind you, it's like, shh, man, you stop doing everything. You stop drinking water. You start, you just like this. You put your poop, I put two hands on the steering wheel. I'm sitting straight up like this. I'm putting my hair to the back. I'm like this, like, shh. But when they gone, when they be gone, I'll be back. I'll be back pulling. You know, you like to lean back, man. Man, I don't lean forward. Like, what? what? 
But that too, I'm saying is that I was going with my mama. You know, I had uh, dropped out of school and all that and stuff. And I had, uh, you know, down here, you got to, when you had dropped out of school for a minute, they take your, they suspend your license and stuff. So I didn't know this at the time. So I'm just going, I'm going with my mama. We're going up here to the uh, DMV and I'm going to go get my license. And no, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to get my license. And I go inside there, you know, I'm happy. I'm like, man, I'm finna get my L's. I'm finna be driving. I'm finna, boy, hey, hey, I'll be over there tonight. I, hey, I'm gonna be over there tonight, boy. I'm finna get my L. Hey, we going everywhere. Sitting there with my mama, we chilling, you know. You know, we having a conversation. Like, now nah, you be responsible. Now nah, you be responsible with them license like that. You be, we be, cause everybody you know my real name, you know. You be responsible now. Nah. You be responsible. Be You, you be responsible now. Nah. You, you be responsible with your, with your license. I'm like, yeah, ma'am. Yeah, ma'am. Yeah, 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 ma'am. In my head, I'm like, man, I ain't trying to hear nothing. What's he talking about, boy? I'm finna be out here. I'm finna be out here. You know, so I'm waiting. I'm sitting there waiting. And I'm like, dang, what's taking so long? Everybody else getting up, going, getting their stuff. I'm like, why is it taking so long? Like, I'm like, man, I got places to be. Like, I ain't really had nowhere to be, but I'm like, you know, I be talking like, man, I, like he busy or something. So I'm waiting, and the guy coming there. He say, he say, he come in there, he be like, he say my name, Mr. Jordan, Mr. Jordan, are you, you, you here, to, you here to get your license? I'm like, y yes, sir, yes, sir. And me and my mama get up and go, I'm like, man, yeah, boy, I'm finna, boy, I'm finna get my license, I'm finna get, uh, uh, I'm finna get my license in my head, I'm like, boy, this is, man, this is the greatest day of my life, get in there, go in the office, next day, you know, he's like, well, uh, Mr. Jordan, we got, um, I got, I got some bad news. I'm like, what bad news? Like, I just got here. It shouldn't be no bad news. Like, what bad news? I'm just, like, kind of dumbfounded. I'm like, what bad news? He said, state trooper said, well, you got two burglary charges. Burglary charges? I'm like, what are you talking about burglary charges? I ain't broken nobody's house. Now, one time I was trying to get in the house because I locked my key, but I ain't breaking nobody's house. Like, you know, that voice from, yeah, yes, sir, you yeah, know that, it started going, man, I ain't breaking nobody's house. Like, what, what are you talking about, man? I'm, you know, I'm about to start losing my boy. I'm like, man, I, like, I'm like, man, what, what you, I just got out. Like, what, what you? He said, you got two burglary warrants in, in uh, Columbus, Georgia. And I'm like, he said, Muskogee County. I'm like, I'm like, this can't be real. And he started naming names. This is on that, the warning and all that stuff. I'm like, man, you got to be, man, ain't no way. I'm, I'm like, sir, I'll probably get my license. Like, what are you talking about? He's like, I'm going to have to take you on in. I'm like, ain't no system trying to fight him. I ain't finna get no other charge. So... I get the other, I get, you know, I take my charges. My mama, you know, you know how mama's there, they gonna cry. You know, I'm like, mom, it's gonna be all right, mom. It's gonna be all right, mom, I'm gonna hold it down. P -O -P, I'm gonna I'm, I'm hold it down. You know, I took my hoodie off, gave her my hoodie, <clears throat> put my hands behind my back. I you know, I'm in the car. He put me in the car car and all that and stuff. Take me to the holding cell. And, you know, I'm getting, um, you know, you're getting booked and all that and stuff. And I'm like, man, I wouldn't even think about I was in jail. I was, there. I was like, man, if I would have just stayed my black ass at home, 
I wouldn't be locked up right now. <laughs> you know, and you be locked up, reality hit. Like, reality hit. Like, it hit. It hit you hard. Be like, man, how the heck I end up in here, man? And then I'm thinking about the two burglary charges. I'm like, man, like, it's going to be. Man, if I get convicted of this, I'm going to be doing. I'm looking at 12 years. 12 years of my life. I'm, I got a baby on the way. Um, I ain't going to be able to see her born. I'm going to be doing prison time. And it was like one of the, because I already beat my other case. I was facing 1500 by the grace of God. So I'm like, now I'm dealing with this, this case. And it's like, man, I'm going to do, if I get convicted, I'm going to do 12 years, man. And I ain't broken nobody's crib or nothing. But that's who I'm saying is, man. You know, you're going to have struggles in life, man. You're going to have struggles in life, man. Like, really have struggles. And I, I took it, I took it, I took it like a G. I took it like a G. I went in front of the judge. The judge, I was in, I was all the way in Alabama. The judge was like, the judge was like, well, you, I can't let you go, but you'll be a fugitive. You know, but before I was going to see the judge, they had me in shackles. Shackles around my ankles, around my wrists. Of course, you're gonna be locked up like this. But like I'm in a chain gang shackle around my uh, ankles. I'm in there. Huh, 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 huh. That's the only way they want hurt. I'm just bouncing like. Oh, I seen them doing this on life, 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 life. I was just, I'm just bouncing. And he like, yeah, Mr. Jordan. Um, I we could let you go, cause you're in a hundred different um state, but you'll be a fugitive. I, tell me, I don't know why I told I told myself to say, nah, I sit here. I'm like, you dumb idiot. So I chose to sit there. I waited, waited a day. You know how mama did. Mama and my stepdad, they they fought. They fought to get me transferred to Muskogee. That's why I say, man, parents, you, you got some good parents in this world, man. And my parents, they fought. To get me transferred, they they got that lady to come. Shout out to uh Miss Bush. I think her, I don't know. If she, no, she Officer Bush. She came and got me, man. She came and got me and got me booked and all that and stuff. Sent me to Muskogee and I went in front of the judge again. Well, I was in there for a couple of days, but I went in front of the judge again and got a bond. Got out, man. I got out, man. I was so happy. I was like, oh, then I had to deal with the case. But if y'all want more about the story with the case, I put in another video or whatever. But, you know, man, people go through things. People struggle in life. And I'm so happy I got to see my daughter being born and all that and stuff, man. But, man, just not having nothing in life, man, can really bring you down. Not having nothing. You be like, and you be, man, I wish I could have that car, man. I wish I could drive that. I, I wish, I, I, I wish I could do these things. But life don't be like that. You got to sacrifice, especially as a black man. You at the bottom of the totem pole, whatever you call it. You at the bottom, you at the very bottom. You got to start from the very bottom and try to get up. Like, so, and you don't know all the stuff like other races know. So, yeah, man, you just struggle, man. That's why I make these I'm tired series. I, I put funny stuff in it, but a lot of this stuff in it, it don't be funny at the time. So, and I remember, you know, getting my job. And I was like, man, thank you, God. It was, you was, it was getting trash and, Put you know you know change the trash in the call centers and all them changing the trash, you know doing my little cover hour. But I was thankful for I'm getting that check. Boy, I was like, man, that check said four hundred dollar, but it was a lot to me at the time. Like man, four zero zero. You know how you first get your check, you be reading everything. Say Londell Jordan, cause that's my real name. 
So they say Londell, Jordan, they say, they say how much tax they took. I'm like, hold up, wait a minute now. Why they take it? Why they why they took taking social security? Why they taking that? I don't need I don't need no social security out. Like you be trying to like you be trying to get them like, man, you need to take, hey, give me that back. Give me that back, whatever like that. But you get that check, boy, you go to that. Okay, you know, I ain't had direct deposit there. You go, you go uh to the bank, cash it. You and the thing is you go to somewhere where the bank is not taking too much out your your um check. So you may some people go to the store, and like, how much you charge? Oh, we charge about five. Okay, I'll take you. You charge five dollars. But you know me, I'm trying to look for two, one dollar. Cash that check, boy, you be man, yeah. I'm I'm paid now. See, the thing is, people think that success is because you got a Lamborghini, a uh, big house, you know, all this. You living a glamorous lifestyle. Everybody's success is different. Everybody's success is very different. Somebody, you may be driving a, a say for example, uh, the new Toyota trucks, the big Toyota truck. You may be driving one of those, and it. It may seem something to you. It may, you may be like, man, you th it may feel successful to you. But to another person, like, oh, that ain't nothing but a Toyota truck. That ain't nothing. But to the other person, is I'm very thankful. It's mine. Like, man, this is a big accomplishment. This car costs a lot of money. So it's different. Everybody's success is different. And you, when you go through these struggles, man, when you making out these, when you make it out the struggle, man, it's like, oh my God, it's like one of the greatest feelings ever. It feel, feel like you just wasn't never going to make it out the struggle, make it out the mud. And I had plenty of struggle moments and I'm pretty sure y'all have too, but you get people that get on the internet and they act like they ain't had a struggle in the world, be up here lying capping, doing all that. But they had struggles. They had struggles. Since that since that that case and all that stuff, you know, situation, man, I man, I be out here a law by a law by the citizen. I don't be trying to do no crimes. I don't know, I don't put myself around people that do crimes. I don't like none of that. I just stay to myself and because, man, you could get yourself some bad situations just, just being in certain areas, certain crowds, you know? Everybody, I know being in prison, jail, and all that. And I'm like, I ain't, I want, I would never in my life want to do prison time. I know, you know, so just try to you know, stay out of, you know, sometimes I get a little upset. I be wanting to put hands on people, but I know that, you know, I'm going to marry. This will, this will help me. This right here and God, you know, I try to, you know, just avoid stuff. I avoid, I don't go to the clubs. I don't do all that smoking and drinking and all that. I do a workout, try to get money so I can travel with my family and do stuff like that. Cause at the end of the day, man, None of that stuff is worth it. So if you struggling right now, man, keep your head up. It's going to get better. It may not seem it's going to get better, but it's going to get better. And I promise you it's going to get better. So you may feel like, oh, man, I'm trapped. I, 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 I don't know. I'm not getting out of this. Yes, you is. You're going to get out of it. You're going to get out of it. Listen, you're going, you talk to somebody that struggle. You're going to get out of it. But make sure you don't get back in it. Make sure you don't get back in it if you catch my drift. But it's showing me I go by two, man. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, man. This is another series of I'm Tired. I'm about to fall asleep right now.